Next up, we want to look at balancing of nuclei equation. To balance a nuclear equation, we ensure that the sum of the atomic number Z superscript must be the same on the two sides of the equation. Also, the sum of the mass numbers A, super, A superscript must be the same as the two sides of the equations. Example. Radium 226 decay by emitting an alpha particle to turn into a new element radium. Radium 222 has a mass number 222. Radium 226 has a mass number 226 and an atomic number 88, and hence it is de denoted by this. The alpha particle it emits is a helium nuclei denoted by this. So when radium 226 emit alpha particle, we can write a nuclear equation as follows. This is how to write a typical nuclear equation. This guy was unstable, either the nuclei was very heavy and it was still unstable. So in the bid to gain lightness or to gain stability, it emitted an alpha particle and then a new atom was formed plus energy this energy is called nuclear energy which we are going to discuss in the last part of this class so to balance it up this arrow here stands for an equal sign and from here to this from here this side is your left hand side of the equation and from here to this side is the right hand side of the equation so if, uh, two two 6 is equal to 222 2, 2 plus 4. It is balanced up there. 88 8 is equal to 2 plus 86. And that will give us 88. 8. Hence, the nuclear equation is balanced. So, example number 2, the same thing. And this is the result that we got. Here, two beta particles were emitted. So, to balance it up, 222 2, 2, from here. This is the right hand, that left hand side of the equation, and this is the, the right hand side of the equation. So you write that 2, 2, 2 is equal to 2 times 0 plus 2, 2, 2, and that is balance. So uh, we, have, we have succeeded in balancing this top. So the down one, we write that. Uh, 86 is equal to 2 times minus 1 plus 2 times minus 1 plus 8, 8. So 2 times minus 1 gives you gives you minus minus 2. So you're gonna have uh, minus 2 plus 8, 8. So 8, 8 minus 2 will give you 86. So you have 86 this side and then 86 this side. So the nuclear equation is also balanced here. So in example 3, uranium 238 decayed by emitting two alpha particles and two beta particles to tutorial this. This was a new particle that was formed. I mean, new atom that was formed. Hence, the nuclear equation is written as follows. How do you balance it up? How do we come about the balancing? The same thing we did at that time. This is the this is the left hand side of the equation, and from here down to this place is the right hand side of the equation. So one sense here is that the left hand side of the equation must be balanced with the right hand side of the equation. That is, the the superscript, the number, the numbers in the superscript must the numbers in the superscript at the left hand side must be balanced with the numbers in the superscript at the right hand side. The numbers in the subscript at the left hand side must be balanced with the numbers at the subscript at the right hand side. So we write that 2, 3, 8. The arrow here 
the arrow here will stand for our, our equals sign uh, will be equals to that is 2 times 4 2 times 4 uh, plus 2 times 0 plus 2 3 plus 2 3 0 plus 2 plus 2 3 0 that's how we write it so that this we go here we have 8 plus uh, 8 plus 2 3 0 and here you have 2 3 0 so here you have 2 3 8 so 2 30 230 plus 8 will give you 2 38 and so this nuclear equation is balanced you do the same thing with the down and then you see that your nuclear equation is balanced so in example 3 thorium 238 decayed by emitting a beta particle so this is a typo error this is a beta particle to the element protactinium 238 hence the nuclear equation as this how do you balance this up very simple as i said uh, the the equal sign stands for the arrow here stands for our equal sign and this must be balanced with the sum of this this and get it done so we have two three four is equal to zero plus two three four and two three four is equal to two three four and so the the superscript is balance so let's look at the down one now down part now so we have we have 90 is equals to m minus 1 plus 91 so minus 1 plus 91 will give you 90 so we have 90 is equals to 90 so this is balance this is balance your nuclear equation is balanced so we want to look at class activity one the nuclear number and the proton number of a neutral atom of an element are 23 and 11 respectively how many neutrons are present in the atom if you remember we wrote something like this before we say that this is your a and this is your z and if we write that we're gonna represent this uh, this implies that here is our 23 and here is our 11 and if you remember from our nuclear equation we wrote that our a is equal to our z plus number of neutrons so in this case our number of neutrons will be equal to the mass number minus the atomic number and that is to say 23 minus 11 and that will give us 12 and so our answer here is b next up question number two An element X of atomic number 80 and mass number 226 decayed to form an element Z by emitting two beta particles and an alpha particle. Z is represented by what? So we are going to solve this by writing our nuclear equation. Solution. An element X had 226 as mass number and then 
8888 8, 8, 8 as atomic number decayed decayed by emitting two beta particle and an alpha particle and an alpha particle so we write that 2e 0 minus 1 plus h e 4 2 plus z plus energy so we have it as 2 2 6 is equals to 2 times 0 plus 4 so we don't know this is a let's write a here and then we don't know the b so and then 2 plus 0 and then let's say plus a which we are looking for so this we go so our a will be 2 2 our a will be 2 2 6 2 2 6 minus 4 if you do that correctly you're going to be having 2 2 2 then down here down here we saw it as follows we have 8 8 is equal to 2 times minus 1 plus 2 plus plus this p so having 8 8 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 this will go and then have plus b so it means that here is also 88. So we have this and this. And so we have 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and then we have 888. So our option is option D.